It is the biggest employer in the area. 9,300 people draw paychecks from Upstate University Medical Center, and it's stretching beyond its core campus. Because if you're going to grow enrollment and you're going to grow response and then ultimately launch more regional opportunities, including some of the degree programs I talked about, it, we needed a bigger footprint. And bigger it is in Syracuse, the Cancer Center. They'll finish the steel skeleton tomorrow. The Institute for Human Performance is expanding and nearby a bio accelerator, along with some non-medical facilities. And we're looking at retail, even the potential of putting a grocery, an urban grocery in uh, that area as well. And a new academic building is in the works with some high-tech innovations. We're adding a new simulation center here that we're gonna uh, be able to develop and add about a million dollars worth of investment in simulation mannequins that can do almost anything for our trainees. With all the construction and expansions, there is a lot going on here, but at its heart, SUNY Upstate is an academic institution, and another way of measuring its success is the number of people and the quality of people who go to school here, including in the incoming class. You're getting close to 6,000 applicants for 160 positions. There's a bias, Dr. Smith admits it, toward central New Yorkers and toward rural applicants because they know that people tend to stay where they come from. And his ultimate goal is to build not only a healthier, but a better upstate. You know, the more dynamic all of us make Syracuse, the easier it is for me to recruit here. So I have a real vested interest in not wanting to see momentum lost. The next goal, to grow the medical school class by 30%. That's on the horizon, as soon as they get through a not small hurdle, keeping state funding to the hospital itself. In Syracuse, Laura Hand reporting.